Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey with Char on this lovely Saturday. I pray all is well in your neck of the woods. Everything is great on my end. We've had a lot of rain uh, last week and a little bit of rain this week and today is so beautiful. So I said, you know what, I'm in the mood. I wanna make some chili, but not only that, Y'all know Dolly Parton has come out with more stuff. Y'all see the buttermilk biscuits here. We have her um, fudgy, fabulously fudgy brownies. I'm gonna be doing that on another video um, coming up after this one. And then we have her caramel turtle. So I'll be introducing those things later on in another video because I'm gonna make those caramel turtle ones, okay? And the brownie fabulously fudgy. Today's star is going to be this sweet cornbread. Y'all know I love me some cornbread, homemade cornbread, and she's a big fan of the Jiffy Box cornbread. Yes, I am not afraid to say, okay? You can doctor that up so many ways, or even just plain by itself, Jiffy is fabulous. So I wanted to try Dolly Parton's sweet cornbread. I'm not going to do, let's pull this up closer so you all can see just how beautiful the boxes are. There really is. I love the way that they um, did the box. I'm not going to make the jalapeno cornbread just yet. If I like the cornbread, then we'll go back and we'll try that. But right now, today, what we're going to make is just her regular, because I want to see how good it is. I didn't want anything interfering with um, me truly tasting if this is really a good cornbread mix, okay? Duncan Hines has never been a brand that's done cornbread, so I can't wait to see how that's gonna come out. So what better? Is, what is better with cornbread child if it ain't no greens child and if you ain't got black eyed peas child and some jambalaya or cabbage bam you got chili okay so she is going to be making some chili this is the i'm trying this for the first time the fire smoke spice sauces society chili um home style it looked like it was really delicious and it had chocolate it had um let me see yeah cocoa powder so that right there um, took my attention away child because I said this uh, hopefully is going to be a beautiful rich color and it didn't um, Ask for much. It's just a simple chili. So we're gonna try that out today. I think this is two pounds What I have here is the organic grass-fed beef. I bought it in a set of three It was a pretty good deal So I got that and we're going to start making this meat y'all and then I'm going to start um, bringing the um, Cornbread together so you all stay tuned. Also, I forgot to mention I have sausage in the oven that is cooking because I want to add sausage to this um this chili and then after the sausage is done then we'll do the dolly parton cornbread but right now y'all let's get this chili going okay let's ground this beef all right you also here in this pan i have two pounds of ground beef let me tell you one of my subscribers oh my goodness today is so busy i've been all around i forgot your name but you said you need one of those you ever seen one of those tools i just want to say thank you you know who you are because I went and I purchased one and I have I should have been purchased one a long time ago. It was my intention uh, Months ago to purchase one, but you brought it to my attention again, and I said oh my goodness Thank you Jesus that she mentioned it. So anyway um, This has been just awesome. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it If you all do not have one you must go out and get one of these tools because I tell you it is an awesome kitchen gadget and I'm so grateful to her that she mentioned that to me okay so what I'm doing this meat is a little cold I'm gonna I've added some avocado oil at the bottom of the pan I just love adding the avocado oil I also love this utensil too because this um, we want to make sure we keep our surfaces where they don't begin to scratch and this helps protect uh, your surface because it's not metal so let me get this all squared away and then I'll show you all the next step. I'm gonna be adding onion, mommy's cutting that onion up. I'm gonna be adding onion to this soon too as well, all right, you all, so stay tuned. This Trader Joe's onion salt is amazing. I am so in love and it just takes just a little bit. It is so good. So I have onion powder, child, I know y'all saying she putting onion in there, what's she doing? I can do onion powder, onion, listen. <laughs> That's onion powder. She's going to use minced onion in here too, in here too as well. Okay, y'all. She is a fan of onions, dried onions, powdered onions, child, raw onions. She just loves it all. I did add some paprika in there if you see that color. And then I added some garlic powder. And we have some um, smoked paprika too as well. And you can add in some chili powder in, too, in here too as well if you like. Mommy doesn't want the chili powder because there's already some in the seasoning. She don't like things too hot. So we're gonna go ahead on and finish this up. 
and I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm getting ready to add the seasoning, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, so mommy's gonna throw some onions in here. For me, I like to infuse my meat with the onions, y'all. I'm sure a lot of y'all, just like me, go ahead on. And then also, what is good with this too, if you can do um, raw garlic added to it. I love adding raw garlic um, to my flavoring of my meat, y'all. That little dog downstairs, he's growing though. His bark is getting bigger. Okay, so let me finish this up, and then I'll show you what it looks like. And I know I said that already, but I'm saying it again. All right, you all, so you can see, I love this, um, tool because it really breaks up your meat you ain't got no wormy looking meat you know how ground meat can look wormy or uh, it's stuck together because nobody paid attention and really ground it up so you got pieces it's big chunks she don't like island shaped uh, beef pieces and I always call them island shapes because I say they look like little patches because then nobody break them up so that's just me that's my sanity y'all um, so yes did you see how this is broken up Another thing, young cooks, you want to make sure you get around these edges because sometimes that pink meat can go up in there and uh, you want to make sure you get around the edges. Those are for you young youngsters who are new in the kitchen or young or even, you know, you may be old wanting to learn how to cook. So now what we're going to do is add some raw garlic um, because she's, she's, she loves garlic, child. She loves raw garlic because it keeps the vampires away. So you like that, ladies, right? So go ahead on, toss that garlic on up in there. And just scrape it off real good, bro. okay? So I'm gonna add more garlic and then I'll show you when I add the um, season mix, so stay tuned. All right, you all, so the garlic is in there. Now, what we're going to do, we're gonna start adding in and mix in the spices. Now, you can saute your onions before you even put the meat in, but I like to infuse my meat with the onion, so that's why I did it um, with the meat, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this season pack and we're going to incorporate all that seasoning into the meat before we add the um, rest of the ingredients, which is the can of tomatoes and the um, beans, okay? Okay, so with this recipe, y'all, they were asking that we add the meat. We're gonna cook this for 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, and the last five minutes is when you add the beans, okay? So right now, what we're going to add is the one cup of stock or even water, you can use that instead, okay? I'm thinking I might use water because I don't want this to have too much sodium, but we're gonna see, okay? Add those crushed tomatoes, and mommy can go and get some water and stir that around and bring that back. Is that, oh, that's that red, beautiful. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. That is absolutely stunning. Okay, and then we're gonna add in the broth. I think I'm gonna use water, y'all. I could use stock, but that stock has sodium in it. We don't want too much sodium. That's what we wanna stay away from. So it looks like that, that's it. That's gonna be the water that it used today. Okay, and that right there. We'll leave that, put that in there because if we need to add more water, we'll use that water. So I think that turned out perfect. All right, this is a step you don't have to do. My family and I have always done this. They used to use sugar back in the day or brown sugar. But I'm gonna add just a little bit, little squeeze of honey. That is it. That's it. Nobody want no real sweet chili. This is just to give it a nice little balanced taste, okay? Y'all want to make sure before you get these beans and all of that out of the um, pans that you thoroughly clean the top of it, sanitize it before you pull your, um, you open it, okay, with your can openers. All right, so let's get started, y'all. This is the reason why we are making this meal today because Dolly's uh, part in sweet cornbread, you all, and this, it says moist and buttery. This is all the information about the calories, sodium, and all that stuff. She's gonna turn it to the side so y'all can see it. That is the nutrition facts, okay? And then down here is the ingredients for those of you who want to know. All right, so let's get this um, ready. This is the ingredients, all you would need. Easy prep recipe, and this is all you would need. You guys, excuse the water sounds in the back, okay? So now, let's get this started. 
I'm going to go ahead on. It says to prep it with Pam, but y'all, they've been saying some stuff about Pam and all these other sprays. Y'all know they finding something we've been using for years and saying, ooh, that's not good for you. So I opted out. I'm just using the chosen avocado spray. So I'm just gonna go ahead on and spray this and then just like go in and just wipe it with my hands. My hands are very clean. You know, all around the edges. Okay, there we go. And this is an anchor pan. Anchor pan, if you're wondering, what is she using today? She's using anchor. She's not using Pioneer Woman because I have more than just Pioneer Woman in my kitchen. <laughs> All right, y'all. We love her, but I also have more than just Pioneer Woman in my kitchen. Okay, we also have another anchor product here that we're going to be using. I'm going to pour milk in this guy because it's asking for one cup of milk and one egg. All right, so now what we need to do first is get this 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 pan has been with us for more than 30 years she came with a um what was that a sunbeam mixing bowl sunbeam mixing bowl and the bowl very, very she used to spin y'all and the bowl you know how you would put the bowl in and then it would spin and she just the most heaviest durable bowl and mama loved this thing and i tell you if something happened to it I promise you, she 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 will have a fit. Okay, it, it will be hard. <laughs> all right, you all. So that is what it looks like. Came out. Looked like you can see some sugar crystals in there to me. I don't know why. It just seems like that. Um, but I remember back in the day. Y'all remember when they said Jiffy had bugs in it? They said, "Girl, you can't eat Jiffy because Jiffy got bugs." And I said, "Well, I guess I'll be eating bugs then." Mm -hmm. <laughs> one one egg. Okay, one egg and one cup of milk. So we're gonna go ahead on and pour this. Get it to the one cup. There we go. Just like so. One cup of milk. I oh, wanna make sure we're doing this correctly. So she said one cup of milk, one large egg, and one third cup of melted butter. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead on and add that milk. We have the egg here. I'm just gonna break the egg up just a little bit, just so we can easily in so we have one large egg that's going in and then we have the melted butter coming in the meantime y'all look at this chili oh it's been my how many minutes has it been hmm. how many minutes has it been I, I don't know I, think I don't know but she gonna go on to add I'm gonna go on to add these beans now y'all let me do that before I mix up this okay we add the beans and then I have some sausage I'm gonna add and I would like to add another can of beans in here, but do y'all want it real beany? No. Okay. They don't want it real beany, so. That's it. Let that cook a little longer. Now let's finish off this cornbread. All right, y'all, so we're gonna add that one third cup of melted butter, just like so, and go ahead on and mix. Now listen, you can use a nine by nine. This is an eight by eight. You can use a nine by nine pan, and that will be for 18 to 22 minutes to cook it in, or you can use it in a 12 muffin pan. You will cook that for 14 to 18 minutes, or you can use a nine inch cast iron skillet for 31 to 35 minutes. This is an eight by eight, and we're gonna cook it for 20 to 24 minutes, all right? And it's going in the oven, you all stay tuned. All right, these are my sausages. So I'm gonna take these out, just drain them, wipe them a little bit down to make sure all the oil's removed. Now I'm gonna cut them and add them to the pot. I'll show you what I'm gonna do, so stay tuned. All right, so I like to do this because of the fat that can come with the sausage. And just all you gotta do is just take paper towel and just you wanna just rub your sausage. Um, and then also just go on top because any excess fat, you wanna get that off, okay? I mean, that's very important for me. So we're gonna go ahead on and take these in here. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut this up and then you're gonna see me add it to the pot. All right, I'm only gonna show y'all me cutting up a few because she's tired and I don't wanna have her arms. It's not like Joshua's here, he's at work. Joshua's work, 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 work. Okay. These are some nice, sausages you can choose these are all beef sausages i hope you guys pay attention that's my cornbread it's almost done this is what i cooked this on today was a double burner 
And y'all, you would thought this was on high, huh? <laughs> Hot this is. Lord have mercy. All right, this chili looks beautiful. Once it gets all set, it's gonna rest and it is going to be delicious. I wanna show y'all the cut up sausages. We're just gonna go up. I like putting these in the very end because you still want the flavor of the sausages to um, stay in the, in the meat. Okay, you all. So I might have to even remove this because this thing is ready to go. All right, y'all, so that is the chili. Ooh, that look good. So now all we gotta do is wait for that delicious cornbread, let everything cool off a little bit. Add some green onions and sour cream on the top of this, y'all. You can do whatever you want. Be creative, y'all. Look at that chili. That chili is good. All right. <laughs> and I love the color. The color turned out to be absolutely beautiful. All right, you all. So it is done all the way through. And I want to let you see what it looks like here. And if I can pull it, it is very hot at the bottom. You guys can see it at the bottom. Woo! This is a very hot pan. All right, so we're gonna let this cool off. Um, I am going to do what I usually do with all of my um, cornbreads. I'm going to add some honey butter to this on top um, in just a few, so stay tuned. Okay, and so we're just going to cover this and then I'm gonna add a little bit of honey butter. All right, y'all, so we are about to just, the, the goal is to taste this cornbread. We got some chili here, um, but so y'all got the um, benefits of uh, seeing how I made this chili. Oh my goodness, y'all, it is so good. Mmm, mm, 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 mm. that's some good chili. That's what it looks like right there, and this is what it looks like up close, so let's, let's show it. Okay, looks like it's got some moisture in there. Mama's getting the... We put a little bit of butter on top. Oh, I see you, Auntie Dolly. Okay, so now we're gonna go in, and I'm gonna give y'all the truth. Ruth, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Mm-hmm. That cornbread good. Mm -hmm. Whoa, and honey, if you doctor this up and did the cornbread pudding, mommy. Ooh, girl. Okay. Mm. What you give the cornbread, y'all? Uh -oh. Josh, uh -oh. we're going in. Y'all, it is really, really, it's super duper moist. Mm. It is really good. Mm-hmm. It is sweet. Now remember I did add a little bit of honey butter on top, but it didn't even need the honey butter. Mama got a thing, y'all. I've been hearing her say this for the longest time. You gonna go get it? Huh? You gonna get it? Now oh. we're gonna taste it. Now we're gonna taste My, it uh, with the little bit of um, the cornbread with the chili. Wow. That is absolutely comfort food. Ooh, look at that. That is really good. Come on, Miss Dad. That is really good. Okay, she's she giving Jiffy a run for their money. It's better than Jiffy. What you say? It's up, it's up there with it. It's up there. Mama says up there with it. I say because of the moisture texture, y'all. It is so moist. It really is a good cornbread. And it's a really good cornbread if you wanted to add um like um cream corn to this. I can't imagine with the jalapeno and all that stuff. Mmm. -hmm. That's a good cornbread. I can eat that whole pan of cornbread. It's really, really good. Now y'all know mama done went and got the green onions. She got the sour cream, child. She greedy. Mmm. I was hungry. Oh my goodness. And that sausage in there. With that red beans, child. That chili did pretty good. And I did not add any um, beef stock or beef broth because I didn't want extra seasoning. It's flavored really good. So flavorful. Now, when you cook this, you want to make sure you flavor your meat now. You do have to flavor your meat a little bit. Mommy want to show y'all one thing, and here it goes. This is something I said I can't believe it was good. So, you Southerners, you let me know. 
if you have done this very thing. So mommy said get a little chunk of cornbread. All right, okay y'all, so she's finally gonna do the buttermilk I and cornbread. Y'all, I'm scared. What is mama doing? Buttermilk and cornbread. So we putting that down in there. Buttermilk and cornbread. And you don't add no sugar, no nothing to the buttermilk? Sometimes some people do. Some Sometimes people add sugar? So you just gonna put this in there like that? Mm -hmm. Just pour it in there. Just pour that in there like so? Uh-huh. What? What? How what? in the world is this possibly okay. good? Okay, okay. Okay, so then what? Mm. Okay, let me show them, because I gotta show them what you want me to do. Tell me That's what it. to do. Okay, so you mix this? Yes. Okay, so you go in there and you mix the cornbread I might put a little bit of honey in there. You gonna mine. put a little bit of honey in there? Okay. It, it's up to the individual. Uh, okay, I just can't see how this is gonna be good. So you mix individual. it till it's completely mixed? Yeah, like that. That's, that's good? That's enough, yeah. Okay, can I taste it? I'm going in the cornbread done just, that's it? Okay. Okay, it's unique. Is that, does that remind you of your childhood? So this was something mama did in her childhood. She did, was this teenage or when you were? Childhood. Childhood. Teenage. Mama said buttermilk and cornbread was a delicious snack. There we go. Mmm. 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 Well, so I just wanted to let you see. This is after maybe about two hours. This is so moist, okay? I'm putting this cornbread up. Before we end this video, another thing I wanted to mention, I just started a new channel and it is called Shars Adventures TV. Please you all go over and check it out. It is all about our family's um, um, adventures. We absolutely love Disney and traveling and we're gonna be incorporating more travels and uh, of course when we go to Disneyland and Disney World on that video I mean on that channel so if you all go check that out and give your girls some support because I'm trying to grow it I would really truly appreciate it and just say hello Char I see you here so that I can say hello in the bottom in the comments too as well I um, already thank you for those of you who saw the uh, message that I left where I asked for you to come over and support the channel thank you for those of you who are coming from that post and you're clicking that subscribe button I truly do appreciate you and your support and love all right you all so go check it out it's called Shars Adventures TV and if you love Disney and you love Disney World and you love all things Disney and traveling and other amusement parks but more so Disney and traveling other adventures that will be taken as a family then come on that channel and join me there all right you also thank you so much and look at that cornbread mm -hmm. okay next video is going to be the caramel turtle and we're also going to do the uh, fudgy brownie okay so you all stay tuned for that cannot wait to see how that tastes so thank you so much for tuning into journey with Shar. if this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see please hit that subscribe button make sure you also hit the notification bell every time i upload a new video it will alert you and you all can come and check me out and see what i am doing all right you all stay blessed take care of one another love one another remember always trust god keep him first and he'll always lead you in the right direction I'll see you soon. God bless and bon appetit. I give the cornbread a five out of five. One to five, I give it a five out of five. Dolly know what she doing. All right, you all, and the buttermilk with the cornbread was pretty tasty. I have to say it was pretty tasty. Comment down below if you've done that. Bye-bye. <laughs>